excited to bring you this border war for the Black Diamond Trophy. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Virginia Tech is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Fielded at the four. And he's taken down at the 35. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 48. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Tackle made at the 38. Gain 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. it out to him again and he's tackled at the 23 yard line that's good for a gain of 15 yards first down inside the 10 and he's level at the nine there you go good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs if the defense wants to line up and man work that slant route until they stop it He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the two-yard line. That's good for a of seven yards. That brings him seven and four. Touchdown, West Virginia. was a perfectly executed play there by the offense. And yeah, the option is so tough to defend, especially right near the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. So a six-play, 65-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. at the 26. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 31-yard line. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll bring up 32. run and he's brought down and he carried that one for a few yards you know when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game tackle after a decent run up the gut that makes it second and six it's second down six yards to go ball on the 45 yard line He scrambled, and he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That brings us third and ten.
Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. Hey, hey. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That was actually pretty good defense, but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. another carry. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. Second and 11. This is the ninth play of this drive. Roger, Roger. 31's the fight. Hey, let's get that ball, Dean. Let's get that ball right here. Let's go. Get him out of here. Go, go. Looks middle. Got his back. And he's hit immediately. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. the 17-yard line. First down. Hands it to the back. Nice run there as they work the outside. We're at the 12th play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle right around the eight yard line. Another third down upcoming, and they've converted all three this drive. Brought down at the six. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Gets to about the five yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Mountaineers with a touchdown lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. 31 to Mike. Go! 28! quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. A long 15-play, 72-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. 
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 31. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of 15 yards. First down. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. From their own 46 yard line, it's second down. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And down he goes at the 45 yard line. Fires out to his receiver. He's at the 30. He's tackled in the open field. First down. And he is drilled at the 13 yard line. That makes it first and 10. They make the stop at the 12. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. They're at the eight. Second down. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. the PAT. A nice 10 play, 69 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. West Virginia is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Fires it out. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First and 10. Ball on their own 41. Big opening. And he hits him hard at the 46. at the 30. He makes his way to about the 28. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. He's into the open 
field. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. That's a down and one. That brings up second and one. First and ten, ball on the 13-yard line. Runs right for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands. But not with this group. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He's hit and taken down. Gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Double, 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 double. Check 13. Check 13. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He gets rid of this one. He did not get to the first down marker. Well, they tried to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. They'll bring him down at the 23. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. Watch it all, going deep. He's got it. 
And he's taken down at the 11-yard line. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Brady drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. From the 11-yard line, second down. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. West Virginia is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Makes the first down catch. Tackle around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And it's intercepted by the senior cornerback. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Virginia Tech holds a field goal lead. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 33. We've played a half. The Hokies in front, 17-14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been every anticipated it being each team matching each other blow for blow just a one possession game at this point what do you expect to change things in the second half well it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs match up the hype and we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is and it's going to come down to players making plays and you know the the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground and which one doesn't give that up a lot of times you know games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake you can do everything right and you can execute right but it just takes that one misstep that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game that's what it looks like it's going to both teams executing well who's going to make a big mistake looking forward to seeing this second half i think there's certainly a want for victory a want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. 
Virginia Tech is up a field goal. On the run. Brought down around the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. And down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. the blockers and drag the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open. He really got a hold of that one. He got hit hard. How about the coverage there? Just a great job there by the punt team to get downfield and make the play on the return man before he could get loose. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop at the 48. Number 11 brings his down at the 48 yard line. First down. He flings it the junior he'll take it all away for the touchdown and he adds the extra point everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff he really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They go with the run. He makes his way out to about the 35. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Second down, five to go. Ball on their own 49. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Yeah, you know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw, and I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open, he just misfired. Got it on the quick throw. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, first down. He might have a chance. Runs outside for a nice game. The 39-yard line. Gain one yard. That'll bring up third and two. Third down again. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Thirty-one's the mic. Go. Take it. And they'll run him again. 
He's at the 30. Makes it out to about the 23. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. Slides down. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. They're about four yards away here on second down. Short pass, middle of the field. And he is drilled at the nine-yard line. This is the 11th play of the current drive. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to have a three point lead with this extra point he makes the PAT an 11 play 75 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard Brad I thought that was a textbook drive I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run and the pass just an overall well executed touchdown drive so the score now 24-21 He picks it up. He finally goes down at the 15. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute put points up. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. From their own 18-yard line, it's first down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. You know, the quarterback a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Sacked. Great play by the defense. Ooh, that time they came with the blitz and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with the sack. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. He airs it out. Doesn't get there. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 49. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Virginia Tech is up by three. Nice run up the middle. That brings him second in the
So at the end of the third quarter, the Hokies in front, 24-21. to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Third and five situation. Ball on the 39. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. He gets rid of this one. From the 22-yard line, second down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Brought down in the open field. Virginia Tech has a three point lead. He's going to try and scramble. Ball is loose. Fumble. The defense falls on it. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Run, 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 run. He makes his way to about the 32. And he's taken down at the 36. Number 30 with the tackle at the 36 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Looks middle, got his back. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. Fourth and long here after the sack. Less than three minutes in the game. Not a bad return. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's got it out 
to his tight end. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. West Virginia is going to take their first time out of the hat. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Slings it. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. Makes it to the 17. A gain of eight on the carry. The Mountaineers using their third and last timeout. Big play, and it's first and goal. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's tackled just outside the goal line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delay of game, offense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Not looking so good for the offense. At this point, all they can do is put the ball in the air and hope. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. it out. Intercepted and I think I can hear the fat lady singing. That pick will end this game. Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup. And boy, was it fun to watch. presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.